I'm Tony B. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Tony B Hair Wigs Business. Hello everyone, so thousands of people, both domestically and internationally, have been affected with the coronavirus. Um, basically, um, basically, what we're going to talk about today is what the coronavirus is, um, how it affects your shipping um, as far as your packaging and also your actual hair products such as your hair, such as your hair bundles, your frontals, your um, closures, etc. Okay, um, we're going to talk about that. Um, so let's just dive right into it, all right? According to CNN, an article written by CNN Online, um, 71,000 people were affected both domestically and internationally. So basically what that means is uh, people um, that live in an area where the virus originated at, from um, or at, um, those people were affected there, so that's do domestically. But then you have people in Canada and also in the US, US and other parts of the world that were affected, so that's considered more internationally, all right, so that we have an idea of what that means uh, for those who maybe don't understand. All right, so we have that, and then also um, this virus, the first person who um, reported reported affected by it. So the first person reported um, um, that they were affected by this virus, that was December 1st of 2019, all right? Um, um, and if you guys want to read more about that, you can find that um, on an article written by John Hopkins, Hopkins Medicine, all right? So um, a lot of Americans are concerned about their packaging and also the hair products that they'll be receiving from China specifically. Um, as you guys um, may know, this um, this um, virus originated in Wuhan, China. Um, I believe I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not saying that right. Um, and some um, believe that uh, this um, virus um, initially took place in livestock animals. Um, and there was a yearly festival that took place um, in China where uh, people attended and ate the food, um, some of the animals that were affected by, um, that were affected with the coronavirus. Um, and so then that's how um, this virus began to spread to people, person to person. Um, that's a, um, that's an assumption that is a, that's what some people believe, um, some articles um, say, so that doesn't necessarily mean that's true. So I just want to point that out. Um, so a lot of people are concerned about, you know, um, hey, how will my packaging be affected? You know, will um, the virus affect my hair products, such as my hair bundles and that sort of thing? You guys, we are okay. All right. So I want to say this: the coronavirus is a um, virus that affects the immune system. All right, and it actually it needs a living host, a living, breathing organism to have life. Um, a box, a packaging, your hair bundles, your hair frontals, your um, extensions, your human hair, it doesn't have any breathing life. All right, so we're fine. All right, and also um, the people that were affected with the virus that is that lives in China, um, they are isolated in one specific area, so they're not even allowed to work. And, I, and I'm sure that's the case everywhere in the U.S., Canada. Those people are have, um, have been isolated to a specific area um, away from the more healthier population or the um, people that are not affected with the virus. Um, they are in a different um, isolated area from everyone else, basically. Um, so we are fine, guys. Like it's totally fine to um, order hair from your American um, um, retailers. Um, as you guys may know, a lot of us retailers and wholesalers, um, we uh, purchase a lot of our products from China. You know, um, so as myself as a wholesaler and retailer um, with the factories that I work with, they guarantee me a sterilization and sanitation process before shipping products to me. However, I'm not there, so I'm not able to share that. Um, so it's very important that we take extra precaution once we receive um, 
the products here in the US or wherever we're receiving the products from, um, just to make sure that eye health is, is, um, is not at risk, basically. You want to go ahead and sanitize, um, sterilize and sanitize your product yourself. Um, and I'm speaking to all the American hair companies or any hair company that is receiving uh, products from any uh, foreign country um, and you're not there to ensure the sanitation and sanitation, sterilization and sanitation process. You want to make sure that um, you follow up um, yourself, if, um, American um, um, or hair companies. Um, you want to make sure that you're following up yourself with another sterilization and sanitation process just to ensure that your customer is getting this, the, the best product and a safe product and a clean product. Whether there's an epidemic or not, it doesn't matter. You want to make sure that you're cleaning your hair bundles before you're doing any installations. You want to make sure you're cleaning your wigs, you're, you're um, cleansing and washing your wigs properly uh, before you're installing them because you never know what um, what could, could you could be affected. All right, so let's just keep that in mind. Um, all right, guys, so I am going to do a video for you guys showing you how to properly sterilize and sanitize your hair closures, uh, frontals, or wigs. Um, we're going to do a video on that, and it's going to be totally free. All right, so below, make sure that you comment. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you comment and subscribe and click that bell because when you click that bell, you get all the notifications when I post a video. All right. But also, if you're watching this as an ad, make sure you go ahead and click that button or drop your email down below. And when I um, and when you do that, I'm going to send you a, a video, um, a free video showing you how to sterilize and sanitize your hair products. Uh, most of all of our products are from China, um, are sourced from China. So I'm going to show you how to, or outside of the U.S. I'm going to say that most of the products that we source. Um, I want to say 90% of the hair products are from China, but then you have other um, people who source from other countries as well. So you just want to make sure that you're following up with your own sterilization and sanitation process um, just to make sure that your health is safe. Safe, And if you're purchasing um, from an American company or any hair company, you want to make sure that they have a sanitation and sterilization process as well. All right, whether there's an epidemic or not, guys. All right, so I love you guys. Take care of yourselves and don't worry. It's totally safe to get your, your products from China. Um, your packages when not, are, are not affected with the coronavirus, nor is your hair products. All right, so again, if you want a video on showing you how to properly sterilize, sorry, sterilize, sterilize your and sanitize your hair products, um, go ahead and leave your email. And if you are on Instagram, go ahead and DM, DM me on Instagram at Tony B Hair Wigs. I'm sorry about that, guys. Tony B Hair Wigs. Instagram, leave me your, your email, and then I'll shoot you the video. But if you're watching this as an ad, go ahead and leave your email down below, and I will go ahead and shoot you the video um, right away. And you will get it um, showing you how to sterilize and sanitize all of your hair products once you receive them. All right. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later.